That's an interesting sound you're walking on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Frisky Bonobo's Playtime. My name is Frisky, and today we are playing Game of Thrones Telltale Games Series Episode 1 Iron from I Iron from Iron from Ice. There you go. That was a mouthful. Anyway, I'm joined here by my fiance, soon to be wife, Stacey. Yep. Yo, or Babe, as we'll probably be calling each other on here. We're big Game of Thrones fans. I haven't read the books. I've just watched the TV show, so I know there's going to be some differences. This, I know, is basically this concentrates on the family that does appear in the books, but they've not been in the TV series. But all the actors from the TV series are all in this, so you're going to recognize some familiar faces. Other than that, I have no idea what's in store. So, shall we begin? Yeah. Press X to begin, babe. Two attempts, but you got there. Well done. <laughs> okay. Are you, are you pumped for this? I've got my Mountain Dew. You've got an apple. I feel you need to calm your shit right now with that apple. <laughs> oh, and, and just so the audience knows, if there's anyone watching this, we don't talk through the cutscenes because they need to know that they're, they're joining on this the story of us, okay? Getcha? You got this? You know what I mean? Cool. Because there's going to be dialogue options, you need to think on your feet, okay? Alright? Basically, what happens is certain things that you do will impact future episodes and future series of this game and series. Alright? You following me? Right, I hope you guys are with me. Let's do this. Let's play. The North Rivers will never forget. That's my best Tyrion Lannister ever. Uh, you know, impression right there. So there you go. It is a shit day out there today. I'm currently in a monkey onesie. Stace is in a nuns. No, I'm joking. She's wearing regular clothes. It's fine. So this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Now, because you've never played this game before, you just need to tell me what choices to make, all right? So you get this. For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the wolves' wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rivaled houses to seek claim Forrester armor for themselves, and the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. Maybe you should eat a couple of more mints, sorry, Stace. Mints that I paid for. Okay, for a start, I want to get some dialogue up and some tiles so you guys can see what's being said. Should be done now. Should have done this first. Very professional of me, isn't it? So professional. Right, we're good. So now, this is how amazing this game is, apparently. You get to play a sword. I'm sorry. No, I'm not having the huskies up here. Stace wants the huskies in the house. It's wet. Wet? It's wet and it's raining and I say no. Let's pick this sword up. Make sure it's fault this, this time. time. Well, of course, don't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. So go down X and then you just wipe. <laughs> now that is a proper sword. I'll have to myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. If I say that as a friend, don't be then we're being honest. You are yeah, just a squire. I will. You'll see. I've got more points to your lord's shoe. After you have taken your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in him, you know. A hand in what's capturing him. 
He was, he was nowhere near the king's lair at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he fell in and out of his tent. Next, I'm telling us he got Tyrion, too. He's not ready. It's a lot of I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and the same as them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't have to be. Aye. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See, what did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Oh, Forrester. Not before he dragged your right brain across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's stuff. It's grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your lead vote to mine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. I've never seen a field plowed so well. As the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Let your go. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> the Rob Stark! The King in the North! The King in the North! Horror! The march on Castle Rock! And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Um, and I, think this is I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. And that I guess men find false courage at the bottom of their coats. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. It's also the question, and what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord. You served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To serve me well, let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man will question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise, I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. You're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. So we should die first. Find Roderick. <laughs> I will, my lord. Thank, Thank you. you. That guy there, I swear yeah. he sounds like yeah. Raffin, yeah. Robert Raffin. Squire! Fetch his more wine! A little bit. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Bring it up to you. Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Yeah. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Orin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Orin. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Orin. See, that's why you're lucky. All expectations. I'd grown up covered in big shit, troll, and slop. Well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose it's been big for him. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, <sighs> pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, 
this rate will never be more than this. Which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be spires for life. All in line around that fucking wedding. Gotta waste the fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. It's easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle and castle in a house forest that I'd feel different. But my own this has nothing to do with it. How much further? That's right over there. Red wedding. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Off they find a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garen. What? What's wrong? What's going on to you? Nothing, rather odd. We need to get back. Fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flag already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Oh, we have to go. You can't go up here in such a rush. Safe bow and award. Quick, which one? Load first, then. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> Now it's been about time since someone died. <laughs> so, in answer to your question earlier, this is like. Oh, shoot! This is like, uh. Set. As the series goes on. Red Wedding was one second.
Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I... I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. Quickly! So, there you go, Game of Thrones. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> this, this feels, this helps so we can wait for season 7 now. So, this is like a nice little, uh, treat if we watch the main event or something. So, it's all Maybe you do, maybe it's gone on its own thing, but I'm not really sure if this is part of the TV series. Road. Where does it stop? Where does it go? Is that a looking pop? Do some bacon. That's what he's thinking. Right. So now we're going to move and can I actually kill the pig? Is that what I can do? There he is. No, it's fine. Blood. Lord. He's so good. Great. So smart. It's great. Yeah. Oh, dead pig. Oh, dead pig, maybe? Or some, from someone or something that killed the dead pig? I guess he's just seen something that seems like a wide eyed bird. Okay. 
something interesting on this cart. Let me observe this cart. Okay. There's this cart though. You know when you come to the screen, we have to see them. That's Arthur's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Come <laughs> oh, oh, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> oh, the... I said move on. And just want to get to the fucking peace. Quick, get to the I recognize you. You're a forester, Squire. Former Stark Bannermen have no claim on land anymore. But haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. Uh, killed a man for it. I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now, why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> No. Dude, focus. I'll have that sword, boy. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's an easy. Let's do. Well, you do suck at holding that, that's for sure. Alright, finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic! Someone's gonna come back or something. Oh, Rake on Axe! They are a pathetic! I like your choice.
what he meant to say is I killed him in the middle of this next time <laughs> in episode two. <laughs> It's Garrett! Get the castle in! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh, his paws went so they dropped him, didn't they? Get the castle in! He was very shaky in his voice, wasn't he? Garrett! That's a man's voice. I was too dead. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut teeth, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. You can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots all to help prevent infection. Hold the window open for me, would you? Yeah, oh, I've not got to do this, have I? Oh, this is nasty, okay. <laughs> oh, I know it's only a video game, but still. Oh, the maggots! Oh, that is right. These are dark days, I fear. That is dark. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. But what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He's as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I don't know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Miracle. Yeah. But also, maggots? Seriously? It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay. Right, so, magic spots up for now. Uh, we'll touch. Bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. You're only on that one, mate. Okay. Um, so this healing herbs. This my own. Oh. Pick one up for later, maybe. See, this is what I like about these sort of games. Is it's like back early where you wanted to um, kill that guy. We won't know now until a future episode if hmm. that was actually a you warrior. You seem to be, be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I'm fine. There's Rod Ingram. Look, I'll show you. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. 
Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Ryan. Never easy being a fourth born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Do you know what I'm glad about they did with this? Is they didn't have like American accents on this game, because that would have ticked me off a little bit. You had to have the northern feel and the British accent, really. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. I'm guessing we're going to see him. Mm hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yeah, that was a weird picture. So, how long would the maggot stay in his leg then? Until the death flashes. How long was that long? I don't know. I wasn't born then. Well, you should know. Because. The Ironwood Grove. Bye bye. Oh, right. I have to ask, because I'm the one with the controller, does it feel like you're watching an episode of Game of Thrones somewhat? Somewhat. Somewhat. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of these just silent walking around moments. That was a very bad one. Right. Show so Ooh. I talked to my uncle, didn't I? That's what he said. Present the sword to him, so let's only just talk to him. Or do anything else with it. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I leave now? Why do the White Horse hate us? Who is the new lord? Uh, why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, uh, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Oh, you see Ramsey Just as they've done before. <laughs> Your face then. You didn't like Ramsey, did you? No. That's part of the dog's eating. Oh. Spoiler alert! God! People may have not watched this. Well, they should have. They should have, and by fair. It's by been far, like nearly a year, so. It, it's been over a year. Yeah. So, you had a spoiler alert, but come on. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you would be watching it. it. Yeah. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Straight to the point. Okay. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It's not good. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady, Lady Forrester. Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so 
I'm sorry. Later. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. You saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Against aggression. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, do you understand what this means? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within a week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Gannett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. So My uncle's right. Smart. We need to be smart. Smart. Edward Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand, but you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not, but it's what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you.
Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester will be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. But it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. If he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. Hmm. Ryan, look who we've found. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asher. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Altangrian said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. 
He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Oh no, he didn't. Sir Royland <laughs> forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Huh. Do you remember when we were younger, and we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say, so I can have all the sweets I want. I'm here with that simple. That it would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Oh, I might remind you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forester, not you. Of course, my Lord. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. They actually need to press that button. Oh. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The 
late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton! What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honourable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over! It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord yeah. of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. But the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. You know what that meant? I'm sure you felt good to say it. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. I was already chopped, Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour, and Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. 
if it's presented to her as it should be. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. It's even weird as you're talking to yourself out loud, love. Ethan made this for me. I bought this game because it was free on the PlayStation Store. So far, I think it was a good purchase. Stacy seems informed by it a little. She's knitting away. I do know Stacy. <laughs> Thanks. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. She is. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Okay. It pays to read like around and stuff, so. Hence why I always like to do um co brazier. Well, that was fun to look at. Um, what else we need? That's the O2. Wonders Made by Man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. That is okay. Why does he look so concerned? What's the plan? Begging your pardon, milady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... It was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. 
Most people don't tend to notice a call boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning oh, outside shit, the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. You can do this. I fucking hate this bitch. Wanted to fucking die already. Look at her scowling. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, your grace? With your permission, Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Uh, what do I do? You? You. Your Grace. Just smiling. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true King. The one true King. Yet she didn't say which. Oh. The girl was clever. Mm -hmm. She only meant- I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain- Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. 
a house of traitors. They were our wardens. They were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. And she would have us believe she didn't know which king she served. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Which one of the Stark's absolutely new order? Which one? Which one? Absolutely. Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, if it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, anything. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe of the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Rene Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Shit. I'm sure Let she Let the would... girl answer the question. Be true to the king. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Yeah. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Land. <laughs> <laughs> My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants, which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruth Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honourable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. Shit, 
No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I do love him. Ah. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. Season. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Jesus. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Sorry. Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the Lords and Ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Um, People are not Hot. always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. 
You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. That's yeah, of course. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There no. are no secrets between us. No, do not say in front of Sarah. It's about my family. I trust her. I don't fucking trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. I don't trust her because she married Joffrey. But now I feel like that's gonna bite us in the ass. She's gonna say something. Fuck it, all right. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. Oh. I will forever be in your debt. It's my going family too quickly, so I will forever be in your debt. debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. She's going to get found out. Which will be the exact story on using, so I feel like you could lie to the girl later on. Bye. For now. Seven elves. I am loyal to your father. I am loyal to House Bolton, please. No. Oh, please. No. Ah. Ah. No. Stop. No. Please. Stop. Stop. No. Let's play a little game, shall we? Yeah, of course it is. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Lord? Shh. Listen. There. 
hear that? I know I heard something. You are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what would they call me? That is for you to define as the new Lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Oh. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> Lord Ethan. Missed. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I fear for my life. Yes, my lord, I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? A share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy, no. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Together, what's that? We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <coughs> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. They need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief! You can send him to the war. He's the man alone. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from us. He do they have an option. Send him to the war. I was going to kill him, but if you decide... I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. Take free fingers. My family Send depends on me. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. Oh, please, my lord! My family! Without me, they'll die! <clears throat> Must remember this judgment. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief, 
I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, the bracer of the Sentinel. The badge of office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Just these guys find out we're going to pop. Thank you, Jarrods. Say again? Jarrods. Yeah. No, but I can't. I think the other one might do something drastic later on. It's the thing, it's the thing with these games. There's always a consequence. Just look for Mister. Actually, that's creepy. Walk away, boy. Walk away. Here we go. <laughs> so let's talk to. Don't. Good luck at him, at least. Go on, Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Okay. See, he seems like quite honorable. Do uh, it! So Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Okay. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. 
Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, mm. I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart and everyone trusts his judgement. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. I'm torn. Who do you think? Hmm? Let's just see what Roland's got to ask. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know so it was an old sword. The word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions for me, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they Okay. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. That way they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Roland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Yes, my lord. <sighs> I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Gavin to the war. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if your father is saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young boy. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sensible. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! Right. Decisions, decisions. What to go for? Oh, 
I... It's probably not best to be aggressive, maybe. I like being smart. Smart's probably best to do. Are you holding a sword or a tap? Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. Hmm. And this, so I remember. I mean, I can never forget, but... Oh, you know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? What is his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he... our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. No, he's not our enemy, but he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People Whoa. who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something time. bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Slash right! That means... Oh, now, just, look, it's going to be apparent I'm going to make this up, I'm make this up, I'm going to, um, choose who, I'm going to choose whoever I think, but, uh, I'll be curious to know what you guys vote for, so, Come on, I'm going to vote for the Uncle Bob, so let's do the Uncle. Duncan. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maestro or Tengrin to do it at once. Lord Ethan, I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Mm. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, mister. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, 
Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report at Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. He's the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. A man may have two ears, but he cannot listen to two men talk at once. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Oh, God. This is all going to reflect badly, so... We want to fight. We will. Diplomacy. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a. Reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord, that's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait, let him gaze upon Iron Run, and when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I'll wake him way at the gate. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. 
Get out. You'll regret that, my lord. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the King? I thought you might want to know. Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years, and yet to be treated like that. I'm sorry, Sarah. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Friends don't hold secrets from one another. 
Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me, and she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I elate his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie, Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Lando. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I'm the people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Where's Sir Royland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your red stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Something wrong with your gate. Where well, aren't you, the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside. 
Did you hear that, man? The Lord of the House says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forest and Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsman. Iron wood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Lord Ramsay, come up here and see. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My Lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what she got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries, Ships, shields, chain pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust your forester. They murdered our men. It was her forest squire who did it. One white hill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his rights. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal Bannermen will not do. So I come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? what? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have a little craftsmen who make the finest weapons. But why tell us I'm no such craftsman? Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. 
Lord Whitetail will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To be sure there's no trouble, Lord Whitetail will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. But I'm rough. That you cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. White till then. Never. It's already done. You have a man you trust? My Sean. Griff. Griff. We need the garrison. You have no right. Wait till have no place here. That's... You make this visit worthwhile. Please, stop him. Don't. Look at this little forester. You're frightened. Are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's oldest? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. What? Hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We, we have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like Anthony? Let her go. She's quite pretty. Your sister. We get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can say. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, oh shit! What have you done? Jesus Christ! That was intense. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. All Ethan named me, Sentinel. I won't leave this house. My sister asked me to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt mine too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Ooh. Good opening episode. Did not expect that ending. Fuck me. I knew someone's gonna die, but Jesus. Uh Bloody hell, though. Right. That was, uh... 
definite eye opener. I do love these Telltale games. So, it's been over two hours. That's the first episode, guys. Got four more to go for. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say playtime is over. Bye.